Hello. I just wanted to very briefly look at a few ideas about um, maybe how to help you get to sleep. Um, I've always had a hard time sleeping. Um, so, just real quick. Number one, uh, increase uh, activity during the day. You know, I'm not necessarily saying uh, exercise, but that might not be a bad idea just for general health reasons. Uh, but um, if you have a, a, a somewhat um, relaxed uh, lifestyle, um, maybe you sit on your couch a lot, or maybe you have a job where you just sit around a lot, whatever. Um, the lack of acti activity will just kind of make your mind restless, kind of make it race a little bit. Um, so that's the first thing. Number two, uh, check with a doctor for causes. Sometimes there is something that we don't necessarily know about. Um, you know, uh, that is a relatively easy fix. Uh, it can be anything from a diet change to um, just... Uh, sometimes there's things that a doctor can give you or, or whatever to help you. Um, I, I know a lot of people have a hard time with um, sleeping medication, uh, even if, you know, it seems like there's a few different things. Number one, you can have a lot of side effects. And uh, number two, sometimes people just don't like it. Um, th there's a lot of different, different things, but still just besides the... Um, medication aspect, there are other things that a doctor can help you with. Uh, third up, uh, make regular uh, sleeping habits. Um, don't just go to sleep whenever you feel like going to sleep. Um, you know, go to sleep at a set time, like, okay, it's 10 o'clock, this is the time I go to sleep, you know, or whatever. Um, and then when you have, um, when you have a wake-up time, make sure that that is, you know, you stick to that. If you get up at 6, get up at 6. Don't don't uh, continually silence your alarm and, and put that off. Um, and during the days, make sure that you are either not getting naps or are making um, regular naps at the right time. Don't just sleep whenever. It's going to it's gonna affect your, your, your sleeping in, in the daytime. And also, the older you get, it m might be a thing. Once again, everybody's different, but it might be a thing. Um, to maybe not take a nap too late in the day because that can, I mean, obviously uh, make it where you can't sleep. Um, besides that, number four, lower caffeine levels, uh, especially um, drinking it too late in the day. Um, you're going to have to experiment to find out what you can tolerate, but a lot of people have like, a, okay, I won't have any... Um, any coffee after uh, two or whatever. Um, maybe even switch to tea. Maybe drink coffee in the morning and switch to tea later on. Uh, tea typically will have less uh, caffeine than coffee. Obviously, you can get some high caffeinated tea blends as well, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, number five, uh, create background noise. Um, this really helps for me. Helps me. Um, by this, I mean you can put on like a TV show or music or something just to have in the background. Um, because I don't know about you, but I have a hard time um, sleeping when it's quiet. Um, and also, if there's unfamiliar noises, like it, it takes me a few days to sleep in a new environment, and I really have a hard time sleeping if it's not um, my regular sleeping place. Um, I have like my little set routine that really helps me to sleep. And uh, number six, uh, focus on relaxing, not on sleep. Sometimes we we try to make it like it's a to-do to list or something, and it just kind of uh, stresses us out. Um, don't don't worry about sleeping. Just lay down, <sighs> slow your breathing, um, focus on slowly relaxing your muscles. Maybe just your hands first, and then your arms. And put conscious effort into it. Slow your breathing, relax your leg muscles, and slowly work your way through your body parts. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard to hard to relax if, if something's bothering you, obviously, um, but we'll get to that in just a second. Number seven, um, avoid screens. Um, it's a well-known fact that uh, when you look at screens too much or, or lights, um, when you look at screens or lights, um, they, they really cause you to, to be more awake. Um, so when you're getting ready to go to sleep, maybe tr maybe make sure you don't get on your, your, your phone or your tablet or your computer or anything, maybe like an hour before you go to sleep. And that way, you kind of it kind of tells your body, okay, things are getting dark, it's time to go to sleep, and that way you don't feel like you get 
either a you don't get caught up in something like maybe Facebook or something like that or uh, you don't get um, caught up in, 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 in some kind of um, drama or problem or anything so uh, number eight uh, try to find a way to unwind before bed um, what my parents do is they have a routine where every night they will um, watch a show just an episode of a show and then that's just what they need um, they work late um, and so you know once they get home they go through they watch their show and then they feel nice and relaxed and they go to bed so find something that you can do to unwind before sleep uh, number nine Try to de-stress de your schedule. Um, excuse me. Maybe don't make doctor's appointments too early. Um, maybe you know uh, don't have so many things to do every day. I mean, everybody has a to-do list, and that's fine. But maybe find a way to uh, have less things per day, or maybe something where it doesn't feel like ah. ah I got to get up and, and and do this in the morning because if you're already thinking about how you have to get up in the morning you're gonna catch a second wind and then you're gonna you know it's gonna be hard to go back to sleep um, and number 10 the last really quick thing create create a sleep atmosphere now what do I mean by this first off have a set place where you go to sleep um, you know maybe the bedroom is where you go to sleep this is where I sleep at I, I never do anything else in my bedroom or whatever make it I, I, I don't want to use this but it's like a, a sacred space you know this space is only for sleep because once you start establishing in your mind, this is this is my place where I go to sleep. Then when you go there, your body's going to tell you, "Hey, that I'm going to sleep now." Now, it this doesn't work on everybody, and once again, it's going to take time because you have to teach yourself. Um, another thing you can do to create a sleep atmosphere is maybe um, have dimmer lights in, in wherever it is you sleep. Um, maybe have like um, ambiance, you know, uh, certain instrumental music or something that just kind of is real tranquil. You don't obviously don't want to be listening to like metal music before you go to sleep. <laughs> um, but just some ideas there. Um, however, there are a few final thoughts I want to I want to leave you with. Um, I've had problems going to sleep since I was seven ish, somewhere around there. Um, so just a, a few things that I've learned by trial and error. First off, if you're bitter, um, try to resolve conflicts before you go to sleep. Um, it will affect your sleeping habits. It will affect your your, your attitude the next day. Um, so, I mean, if if you're married, for instance, uh, you know, try and just make peace before you go to bed or before you try to go to bed. Um, another thing, um, are you watching something like thrillers or horror movies or something that is kind of a, a high stress thing? Um, or maybe if you listen once again music that, that's kind of higher geared. Um, it, it might be a little bit more difficult for some people to go to sleep uh, with that kind of stuff, so obviously. Um, and moral guilt, if you're doing something that, that you kind of feel is um, wrong, once again, it really doesn't even matter if somebody tells you that it's wrong, because it, it, if there's something that's bothering your conscience, it's something that you need to address. You know, you need to be real with yourself for a little bit. You know, don't don't hide from the from the discomfort because as long as you try and push it to the back of your mind, it's just going to keep bothering you. Um, besides that, anxiety. Um, I used to have, well, I sometimes still do have panic attacks or anxiety every single night before I go to bed. Every single night. Um, some some people are afraid of sleep. I'm one of them. Um, some people just toss and turn for hours and it seems like they can't get get to sleep. I'm one of them. Uh, some people have insomnia. Um, I don't exactly know where the scale is of, of insomnia or just having a hard time sleeping. I, I don't know the specifics. But once again, if you talk to a doctor, I'm sure they can help you figure it out. Um, in which case, if it's something like anxiety, um, why is it making you anxious? You know, uh, face that. Uh, ask yourself questions. Uh, try and work through it because if you don't work through your problems, you're never going to be able to fight them. You're never going to be able to grow from them. Um, so you know what is it? What is it that's making you anxious? Are, are you fair? Are you afraid of not being in control? Are you afraid that something's going to happen while you're asleep? Are you afraid of you know whatever? And then deal with that, um, and also learn to deal with your anxiety itself. Um, so not just the thing that's causing you anxiety, but learn how to deal with anxiety. What's the difference? Well, let's say I'm afraid of death. Well, I need to realize, okay, um, everybody dies. You know, I I have to learn to get past that but then also anxiety what do I do when I'm anxious 
Well, I start breathing really fast. I, you know, I, I lose, I lose control of what I'm thinking about. Well, there you go. Learn to think. Learn to learn to take care of your anxiety. Slow your breathing. Clear your thoughts. That kind of stuff. But then also learn to learn to uh, face the thing that you're anxious about. Um, in your life, you will either learn to run from things or learn to work through things. You can't do both. Um, but uh, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Uh, next off is a, there's a life crisis, something that is upsetting the norm of routine. Um, it is normal, for instance, to lose sleep when you are in grief. Um, sometimes you go the other way and you get way more sleep when you're in a time of grief. Um, these are these are natural things that happen, and there's really not too much you can do. Um, I, earlier this year, uh, my child died, and it was very difficult because I already had sleeping problems. You know, and I already have like, for instance, I'm I'm young, so obviously I have a fear of death. It seems like every young person has a fear of death. You know, so then there's that selfish element where you lose your child and you think, oh man, you know, I'm gonna die too, and you start realizing your own mor uh, mortality. But then besides that, besides the selfish aspect about how it affected me, it also was hard to let go. You know. And so as I was working through that, my sleep schedule was mad, uh, got all out of whack. You know, and that's just a natural part um, of, uh, to life crisis, um, losing a job, uh, these kinds of things, real stressful situations uh, with family. I know a lot of people, for instance, uh, have a hard time around holidays getting around their family or whatever, and they just, you know, maybe drink or whatever. Excuse me. Um, watch out for those kinds of unhealthy uh, habits, uh, not real great on your body. Um, so try to learn how to deal with those stressing factors. Um, you know, these these things are things that, that you really can't run from, you know. Uh, life stressors and, and those kinds of things, you really have to face them. And the last thing, um, maybe you're overtired, maybe you're working too hard. Uh, maybe uh, your schedule is just too busy or whatever. If that's the case, well, there's a few things you can do. Obviously, try and cut down on some of the things you're involved in. Maybe you signed up for stuff and it's just too much. See if you see if there's anything that you can maybe uh, back out of. Um, I'm not saying be lazy or, or, or be undependable or anything like that, but there is only so many hours in every day. And so if you don't have the time, I mean, there's really not much you can do. And be selective with what you sign up for. Um, and make sure that you're signing up for things that make you feel... Um, it's obviously life isn't all about us and everything, but make sure that you're signing up for things that you believe in. Because if you sign up for something that you despise and you sign up for it anyways, first off, you're going to grab and complain the whole time, um, and then besides that, um, it's not going to it's going to make you feel even more irritated at night when you go to bed. So there's just a lot of things you need to, you need to pay attention to there. Um, if if you are overtired, uh, eventually you'll get past that second wind and you'll start getting tired, more tired again. Um, you just kind of have to wait it out. What can you do while you're waiting it out? Um, once again, uh, maybe listen to calming, calming music. Uh, maybe just kind of turn off the cell phone for a little bit and just kind of relax for a little bit. Um, you know, even when sometimes what I have to do when I'm working through it is I have to tell myself something that, that might not necessarily be um, true. Like, for instance, um, Okay, let's just go to sleep for 20 minutes, and then I can stay for the rest of the night. So then I tell myself that, and I even set an alarm to wake me up in, in 20 or 30 minutes. Because I know that once I go to sleep and that alarm wakes me back up, I'm going to be um, tired, and I'll be able to turn it off and go right back to sleep, and I won't have a problem for the rest of the night. But some other people, it might not work like that. So you really kind of have to just pay attention to how your body works, and then just kind of work around that. Um, but once again, if... It, if you are overtired, that that's going to be a problem. Um, make sure you're getting set set times of waking up and going to bed, and uh, know when enough is enough. I mean, remember, work will always be there. <laughs> you know, it, it's good if you do a good job and if you work hard. Those things are great, but remember that that work is just work. Um, so, I mean, even if you're working in a job that you really truly believe in, it's still work. You know, there's there's a time and a place, and there's a time to just say, okay, all right, that, that's that's enough for now. I, I need to just go to bed. So, uh, okay, remember to value, remember to value your time. Um, so, okay.